In this video, I'm going to show you how to download PostGIS through PostgreSQL and how to install it on your computer. This has had a lot of issues and I will be giving you tips of, on how to avoid the issue that I experienced. So first of all, go to Google and search PostgreSQL. Then go to the website that is www.postgresql.org and when you get to the website, navigate to the download menu. Up in the download menu, you have to choose which operating system you are using. If you are using Mac and all this, I'm using Windows, so I'll click on the Windows and then go to the link up here that says download the installer. So this, uh, they bring you a website, a page that shows you all the versions that are available. Definitely, if you want the latest version, it's 12.1. And you have to know which operating system you are using. Is it 64-bit or 32-bit? I will download 10.11, simply because I feel like I want to go for this one, for stability and all that. And also because uh, version 11.6 and 12.1 is not yet available for 32-bit. Uh, so download for the one that you want to download and of course uh, allow the download to happen. So it's going to take some time but I will not keep you waiting. Once the download is complete, navigate to the folder where you downloaded and you can see that it is uh, the application is right here. So what you do, make sure that uh, the file that you have downloaded has gone to local disk C and this is where the problem comes in. When you're downloading to your normal PC, sometimes it will not uh, be able to go through to the very end. It will bring you issues. So if you, if you have experienced these issues, it is advisable that you create a user, a different user from the one you're using and give that user administrative rights. In my case, I have already um, connected to a new user, different from my usual user in my computer. This is very important. There seems to be some issues with installing PostgreSQL and PostGIS with the usual user, uh, and I'm not aware what really is the cause for that. So once you have it downloaded, double click to install and give it some time. So the installation window will pop up. This is simply the welcoming uh, window. So click next. And then this shows you the directory where it's going to be installed and make sure that it is local disk C. I'm going to leave it as default. Click next. And it's going to show you a list of, of the components that it's going to install. Make sure that all these are ticked because um, they're all important. For example, PG4 admin is the, is the graphical user interface that you shall be using to manipulate, to access your da your database and to do all the SQL coding. And Stack Builder will enable you to um, install additional software or additional extensions. In this case, we can we will only be able to install PostGIS through Stack Builder. So click all this and uh, click Next. And this is the directory where the data will go as well. So I'll leave it as default and I'll click Next. Set up a password that you'll be able to remember because when you go to manipulate uh, your your database through PG Admin, it will be asking you for the password. So make sure you can remember the password. Then click next, and this is the port number fifty four thirty two. It's usually the default local post port number so leave it as default unless you have another local uh, port running on your pc click next and leave this as default as well so this is simply a summary of all the settings that you have made if you want to keep this uh, then you should take a screenshot so this is where the installation begins and it's going to take some time five to ten minutes so give it time and i will not keep you waiting when the installation completes, it will bring up this window where it will be asking you if you want to be able to launch Stack Builder. 
So this step is very important because this is how we are going to install PostGIS as an extension of PostgreSQL. So make sure this is selected and then click Finish. So um, come to this downward arrow and choose PostgreSQL 10 because this is the only port available and you want to create PostGIS as an extension of PostgreSQL, the one that you've just downloaded. Then click Next and it will bring you all the extensions that are available and you have to choose what you want to install. In this case, we'll straight away go to Spatial Extensions and we'll go to PostGIS. You'll choose a version that you want to work with. Of course, keep in mind your computer if it's 32-bit or 64-bit and these are just the versions of um, SQL that you would like. So in this case, I'll go for the latest, latest PostGIS 3 but uh, and I will go for uh, 64 bit because that's my computer click OK and then click next so uh, once you've clicked next it will show you the directory where it's going if you want to change but if you don't want to change click next again so once that is finished it will take us to the next uh, window and this window simply tells you to if you want to continue installing then you click next so that uh, the installation now starts and then you have to agree to the, the, the rules or rather the license. And then if you want it to automatically create a special database, then you have to click this. But in my case, I will not click this because I want to create my own database when I open PG Admin. So because PostGIS is selected already, you click Next. And then this is the destination folder. Click Next and it will start installing PostGIS. So uh, here it will ask you if you want us to register the GDL data environment, you click yes. And um, here also you click yes, these are simply additional drives that will enable you work with raster databases and other additional datasets which are important for GIS. So accept them, this one as well is for raster, accept yes. And then when it has completed downloading, you click close. So the installation for both PostgreSQL has worked, has finished, and for PostGIS as well, the extension has finished. So remember, if you encountered any problems, uh, try my, my suggestion of installing PostgreSQL and PostGIS in a user, a different user account other than the one you're using and give it administrator rights as well. So you will click finish over here. And if you want to access your PostgreSQL or PostGIS, you go to the search, search area and search for PG, PG Admin. So PG Admin, this is the graphical user interface that will enable you to, to access PostgreS and PostGIS. Yeah. So you'll be able to do all the manipulation through PG Admin. So you give it some time to open. So this is how um, PG Admin looks like, and it will ask you to this will, it will ask you to set a password, which will be used to unlock and do all the other things. So if you are willing to set, it's okay. You can set. Maybe you can put the same as the password you put for for accessing PostGIS. And if you go to the servers as well, so this uh, you have to put in your password to be able to access the PostgreSQL 10 server. Yes, so this is where we are. And for future lessons on PG Admin and PostGIS, stay tuned. Thank you for watching. I hope it is helpful.